Hey YouTube, I know it's been a while. As a lot of you know, I spent most of the last year working on the Singapore Airlines social media campaign called No Detail Too Small, and if you haven't seen that, you should head over to either their YouTube or their Facebook uh, channels and check it out. Anyway, I am finally done with that, and I am back to work on the plane, and so I'm pretty much picking up where I left off uh, almost a year ago, and what I was working on then was the slat deployment mechanism. So the slats deploy first to 20 and then to 30 degrees. And so the 20 degree would be kind of what you would use for takeoff and then the 30 degree full extension would be something you would use for landing. So there are 16 individual slat tracks on each wing, three inboard and 13 outboard. And they all need to extend at the same rate across the entire span. And so the real challenge was figuring out a mechanism by which I could take one single motion and translate it out evenly across 13 different slot tracks. So the system I kind of figured out was to have one strip of paper that runs pretty much the entire length of the wing. And so as you push and pull that long strip, all these little strips of paper get pushed along their track and rotate 90 degrees and push the slats out the front of the wing. And this all seemed great in theory, but I was not sure that it was actually going to work out in practice, obviously because I'm dealing with paper here and because the parts are so small. And so what I have here is a proof of concept. This is pretty much the system I'm going to use on the wing. Obviously it won't look quite like this because it's going to be embedded inside the wing, so there'll be less kind of supporting structure around it, but this is the way it's going to work. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's really exciting that this has worked out because these are one of the more challenging parts of the wing. You're dealing with very, very tight clearances and you need incredible precision and it seems like I've been able to achieve that. So I'm now going to go back to my designs and get the entire uh, span of the slats finalized and then I will probably be moving back to the flap systems. So I'm not sure when my next video is going to be but I am back to work on the plane. I have not dropped off the map and I will be posting more updates hopefully really soon. Thanks. And P.S. as I'm sure some of you can tell I've upgraded my camera to the Panasonic Lumix GH4 and so all of my future videos will be in glorious 4K for those of you who can enjoy that. Anyway, nice little bump in quality.